Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little I love you more than chocolate card using the more than chocolate stamp set by Gerda Steiner Designs. So let's go ahead and get started by stamping our adorable little piggy onto a piece of express it blending card. And I'm using Memento Black ink here because I'm going to color the images in with Copic markers and that is a very Copic friendly ink and this is a very Copic friendly paper that I'm using. I also masked the image with some Simon Says Stamp masking paper and now I'm taking a stencil from MFT Stamps. This is the mini brick stencil and I'm going to attach it to my card panel and then we are going to do some ink blending over top of our images and I've masked them all so they are not going to get stained with the Distress Oxide ink. And the color I'm using here is, I think it's pumice, pumice stone. I think that's what it is. It's like a, a nice gray color. Okay, so that looks good. So I'm just peeling off the bottom because that's going to be the ground where our little piggy is sitting. And then I'm going to peel off the masks and then we can get to coloring with our Copic markers. So I'm just going to pick up the last of those little hearts with my tool in one and now we can get started coloring. So I'm going to use a base of R00 for our little piggy here and I'm going to give you a really good color combination if you um, want to color this little piggy or other little piggies. Um, pigs can be a difficult little critter to color because automatically I think you want to go to pink shades um, but I really think that the best colors for um, these little piggy critters are like kind of a, a rose color or a reddish orange color, peachy color, more than a pink. So that's what I'm using here. So I'm going to put some little shadows in with my R12 over that R00 base. And we can see our little piggy starting to come to life. But we are going to add some even more contouring and coloring. So now I'm going over the edges with an R01 and now an R000 in the very center parts of the pig. And then we're going to put some deeper shading like under the ears and wherever there's a joint with the RV42. I don't often use this color, but I like how it looks for our little piggy here. And I gave him a little chin as well with that RV42. And I'm just going to finish up his hooves. Add a little bit of lightness with that R00 and then add some shading around the nose. And now we can start coloring in the little chocolate bar that the piggy is holding onto. So we're going to use E23 for a base. This is a really small piece of the chocolate that's sticking out from the little tinfoil packaging. So I wanted to use a nice bright brown there and E23 is great for that. And then we're going to use our toner grays to color in the little tin foil around the chocolate bar. I love using the toner grays for metal. And we are going to make our hearts and the little candy wrapper red. So I just started with my yellow orange base there, which is the highlight color that I like to use when I'm coloring bright reds. And then we're just going to fill in the rest of the wrapper and the hearts with some R29 and R 39 and maybe a little bit of R24 as our mid-tone just to blend that yellow orange in uh, a bit. And again, I just, I really love having yellow orange as my highlight for my reds as opposed to just keeping a white highlight. It just adds a little bit of a glow or something special to reds that I just love. And then once we finish up this part of the coloring, we're going to add a, some ground beneath our little piggy and I'm going to use some yellow greens for that. Oh, but first we have to color in the, the little chocolate smile that he has. So I guess he's coated in chocolate because he's been eating so much of his chocolate and he just loves it so much. So I colored in his little chocolate mouth with E23, E55, and then I think that was E27 as the darkest shade and now for the area under his feet we're going to use some yellow greens so i started with yg63 
this is kind of a new shade for me. I don't use this often. I thought this would be a good time to try it out. I like the way that the peach of the pig and the red of the hearts and the green of the ground kind of all work together. I think it makes a really, really nice color scheme, especially with those gray bricks in the background. And I just put a little shadow under our pig as well, with a little darker yellow green marker. And now we're going to peel up the tape, add a die around the corners. This is a stitched rectangle die by MFT Stamps. And then we are going to emboss our sentiment onto the card. And this is from the Gerda Steiner stamp set More Than Chocolate. And it says, I love you more than chocolate. So I'm going to use some clear Versamark ink here. And then we are going to use some caramel brown embossing powder by WOW that I've had for a really, really long time. And whenever, um, I don't know, I have a sentiment that has the word chocolate in it, I tend to to break it out. It just works really, really well. It's a really, really nice, shiny golden brown color. So we'll heat set that in a moment and then you can see how pretty and shiny this embossing powder is. So once we have our card panel done, I'm just going to take some foam tape and put it all over the back and then attach it to an A2 size card base and that's it. So here is our I love you more than chocolate card. Comes together really really quick. I'm just brushing off the embossing powder there and then I'm going to add some little highlights to our hearts. And I decided not to add highlights anywhere else. Just some black glaze pen for the little piggy's eyes to make them stand out a little bit. And now we're going to put some glossy accents around his little chocolate smile just to make it stand out and look glossy. Like there's fresh melted chocolate all around his snout and all around his mouth. And then a little bit of glitter pen on that red wrapper just for a little pizzazz, why not? It's Valentine's Day, might as well go all out. And that's it, there is our I love you more than chocolate card. I hope you enjoyed this video everyone and I really hope you give this card a try. It's a lot of fun and it comes together really, really easily. Thanks a lot, and I will catch you again soon in the next video. Have a great day.